What's up, savages? So today I'm gonna show show you how to make one of these uh, cloth ghosts right here. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know. Was that a spooky laugh or not? Let me know in the comments. All right. <clears throat> so uh, here's my little test run right here. So you can see, I got an empty, and uh, I got a ghost here using cloth physics. All right. So let's get started. So I'm gonna get rid of this cube right here. X key delete. Bam. I'm gonna bring in a UV sphere. Mesh, Shift A, Mesh, and then UV Sphere. There's my UV Sphere. That's going to be the head for my ghost. You know, let's smooth it out. Right click, Shade Smooth. All right, so now I'm going to bring in a plane, and that's going to be the cloth for my ghost. Let me close this out. Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to scale it up. As for scale, just freehanding it, whatever looks good. That looks cool to me. One for front view. And I'm going to pull it up and pull it right there. GZ and sit it right at the top of the uh, the sphere right there. GZ, just freehanding it. That's close enough right there. Seven for top view. Zoom out. I got the plane selected. Tab key for edit mode. Right click, right click your plane. Subdivide. Get a subdivide menu right here. Click it and number of cuts. Uh, right now I got one cut, which gives me four uh, faces here. I'm gonna increase the number to 100. 100. Enter. Boom, now I got a bunch of cuts. I'm gonna zoom in and select this one face right here in the center. Drag, select there. All right, got that one face there selected. So I selected these four vertices there. And then that allowed me to select that one face there. And now I'm gonna go over here to mesh data. This uh, icon right here on the properties panel, the upside down triangle, there we go. And then vertex group, I'm hit the plus sign. And I'm gonna sign. And that'll distinguish these uh, four vertices from the rest of the mesh. Uh, cause I'm going to pin it because later when I do the cloth physics, uh, I'm going to have it get stuck right there. If not, then this cloth could fall all the way through and fall all the way into infinity. But I'm going to have, I'm going to pin it to these four vertices there and it's going to get stuck on the top of this, uh, sphere down there later. All right. So selected those and click assign. You can rename it. You can double click inside a group right there and give it a name. You can call it pin or head or pin head. Isn't that like a, a scary movie character. Honestly, I've never seen those movies, uh, Hellraiser or whatever. Not really my thing. More like a Friday the 13th guy or a Freddy Krueger type of dude. Jason and Freddy. Those were my childhood heroes. Well, maybe not heroes. They're not, they weren't heroic at all. <laughs> all right, cool. Set for top view. I'm going to color this. I'm going to go to materials right here. Let me switch over to the render viewport shader right there. Click on the bubble so I can see the material later. And, um, Cloth ghost, usually it's a white color. It's supposed to be ghostly like, right? So let's add an emission shader there. So I'm gonna click on you. And I'm clicking here. You can name it cloth or sheet. I'm gonna call my white sheet. There we go, enter. And then the shader type right now is principal BSDF. I'm gonna click on principal BSDF. And switch that over to emission. That way it'll kind of glow a little bit. And the color is gonna be white. Uh, let's see, hex. Cool, I got a bunch of Fs in there. I clicked on hex. If they're all Fs, then that's the uh, the whitest color you can find there in Blender. Uh, you can also just bring the value all the way up, and you'll get a white color there. And I'm going to increase the strength up to uh, not too high up. I don't want it uh, overwhelming the rest of my project. Let's see what color I chose over here. So I'm going to put my ghost there. And I went over with uh, two, strength two. So I'm going to double it up. So I'm going to increase this number here to two. There we go. And then I'm going to go over here to face selection, upper left-hand corner in the properties panel. Sorry, in the viewport shader. Click on face selection there. And I'm going to select uh, some faces here to make the eyes. So here's the center of it. I'm going to go one, two from the center. Drag, select, maybe four. Uh, you know, that's kind of Kai up right there. Right? It's going to be the top. Let me go a little lower. Maybe I'll go right there. Drag, select four of them. One, two, three, four. Too many. There we go. And then I'm gonna mirror that. So let me jump over here. I'm gonna hold on the shift key and drag select the same amount there. Cool, so there's the middle right there. And one, two, one, two, cool. Or there, and if you like, you can add a mouth. You can add a mouth in there. I'm holding the shift key as a drag select, so I can multi-select. Cool, so we kind of got ghost face from the, uh, what's that movie called? Scream, all right. Or it could be the ghost face killer from the Wu-Tang Clan. All right, plus sign, new, it's gonna be black. Enter, 
And then right here, base color, click inside that uh, white round the rectangle, get the color wheel. This is value right here, bring it all the way down and it'll make it black. Get a sign. Cool. So now that's black there. Maybe, I don't know, add more geometry to it. A big wide mouth, a sign. Oh, I accidentally selected the white right there, black, back over to black, a sign. There we go. And maybe make these right here black as well. Black, a sign. It's kind of weird. Let me try these here. Black, a sign. And we'll see how that comes out right there. Cool, it looks like a cool little looking mouth. So you can try that or just the two eyes. Uh, if you do just the two eyes, that should be good enough. I just got two eyes there. You don't got to add the mouth. I'm just adding the mouth here for fun. Let me add more to the mouth. All right, and then tack you back to object mode. Cool, I got my mouth there. Looking like, uh, what's that called? A pixelated mouth, 8-bit mouth, like an old school video game. All right, I still got the plane selected there. I'm gonna go over here to physics, physics tab right here. The one looks like a hydrogen molecule. And it's gonna be cloth, so it's a sheet, right? Like a bed sheet. I'm over here to cloth. Cool, I got cloth physics applied to it. Let me scroll down. And see this menu right here, this uh, little hidden menu shape, click on it. Cool, I got the menu there. Pin group, so that's that pin group I created over here earlier in edit mode in the center. I'm gonna click in there. And the only, the only option in there available is that pin group I created earlier. So I'm gonna select that one and name the pin head. If you didn't name it, then it's gonna just be called group, but there should only be one option in there. And then I'm gonna click on collisions. And this way I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on self collision. So this way when the uh, animation plays, the, uh, the sheet here will not go within itself. It'll collide against itself. All right. I don't want it to go through the sphere, so I'm going to click on the sphere here. And then that's going to be collision. I'm going to apply collision physics to it. That way the cloth crashes into it, collides against it, doesn't go through it. All right, hit the play button and check it out, see how it's looking. All right, one for front view. I got the mouth right there. See if it looks scary. Cool, it's coming out pretty good. This ghost is looking hungry. Look at that big mouth. Give me food. That's why ghosts be coming up in your house in the middle of the night. They're trying to go through your fridge. That's what's really going on. You should leave some cookies out for your ghosts. Some tacos, for sure. I'll leave you alone and you leave some tacos there. Cool, there we go. So you got a ghost. All right, but um, I'm going to give my ghost some hands. See, this one looks kind of kind of boring, just as long ghost like that. So I'm going to give my ghost some hands. So I'm going to pause it, back to frame one. And then this cube, sorry, this sphere right here, I'm going to duplicate it one in front of you. Let me zoom in. Let me go over here to rendered. And it's, all right, that's activated. Make it be bloom. So I can see the glow later. There we go. You can see the glow there. And ambient occlusion and motion blur for later when I create some movement. I right, one in front of you. I'm going to duplicate this sphere here. Shift A, smooth it off to the side where you think there should be a hand. Move the mouse away, then S for scale. Bring it down and bring it up around there. There you go. I scaled it down a little bit. Obviously, your uh, your fist, if you make a fist, it's not going to be as big as your head. One in front of you again. I'm going to create a duplicate and try to put over here, try to mirror it. So that's about one, two, three. Three blender units, three of these grid marks away from the sphere there. One, two, three down there. All right, so shift the X and about right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm just freehanding it. Not being too accurate, this should be good enough. And this one had the collision um, physics applied to it. And when I duplicate it, the duplicates will also have the collision physics, physics applied to it. So play button again. Wait for the sheet to go down. And it should crash against the, uh, the other uh, spheres as well, the other UV spheres. I'm upside down, one from front view. There we go, back side up. There we go. Ooh, scary. Give me all your tacos. All right, let me, uh, let me move these forward a bit, these UV spheres right here. So I'm going to pause it. Back to front view. Sorry, one for front view. Back to frame one. I clicked on this button here, so it's going to be frame one. I got this UV sphere selected. I'm going to hold the shift key and left click this one so I can multi select them. Just the ones that are supposed to be hands. Seven for top view. Shift Z for the wireframe. You can see the rest of it there. See, there's the head. G and then Y. Pull them forward. And there we go. So now my hand's a little bit forward. Play button. Shift Z. That's a solid. 
and it'll look more like your hands are sticking out. Because if you were dressed up like a ghost like this, you'd probably stick your hands out like, ooh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get all your tacos. Halloween, so I guess I'm going to get all your candies. I mean, I guess you can have tacos on Halloween too. Why not? All right, I got some pixels there in the uh, in the sheet, so I'm going to select my sheet here. My plane, then right-click it and select Shade Smooth, smooth it out. It'll get rid of some of those... Uh, some little square sharp corners there. Right click again, shade smooth. I right, pause it. If you notice here, frame one, the sheet is up there. You have to wait for it uh, to unfold. Give me the tab key. Uh, a to select all. I'm gonna triangulate some of these faces here. So I hit A first to select all. I'm in control T. There we go. And now some of my faces won't be square, It'll be more triangular. Tab key, play button. All right, I got the sheet selected. And then I'm over here in the properties panel with the physics tab selected, physics menu. And I'm going to bake this. But I have to go down here, look for cache. There's cache right there, cache. I'm going to open it up. My simulation, so my animation here, the claw starts at frame one. If you notice at frame one, the sheet is up there, then it has to unfold its way down. So instead, what you want to do is uh, I'm going to pause it, back over. Start this at minus 100, frame minus 100, frame negative 100. And then later when you bake it, it'll start back there. Uh, let me add one more thing in here for my animation. I'm at three for front view. Shift A. I'm going to bring in an empty. Empty plane axis. It's right there. You can't see it, but I'm at GZ. Pull it up. There we go. So it's kind of like uh, one of those strings or one of those handles that, are, that a puppeteer uses. I'm going to drag select everything right here my three spheres my plane and my plane axis empty your plane axis is empty if it's already selected it should be yellow if not hold on the shift key and click on it until it's yellow there we go and make sure you do not select the sun here the light or it's a point light a point lamp and do not select the uh the camera we just want the plane the three spheres and then select this one last if not you can select one individually select that sphere hold on the shift key you want to select the rest all the three spheres, the plane, and I select the empty last. Make sure the empty select the last. If you notice, it'll have the yellow glow, uh, identify, identifying it as the uh, active object, and everything else has this orange glow, and this will mean it's, it'll be the main object when we create a parent, a parent bond, which is going to be Control P, Control P for Pablo, it will select the object. Cool. So now that is the dominant object there. Three for right view. I'm going to tilt it over a bit. R, there we go. I'll move it back. GY. I'm at frame one. Cool. I'm going to keyframe that I key and select location, rotation scale, lock rod scale to keyframe the location and rotation of my ghost at frame one. And 250 frames, that's fine. I can do that. So I'm going to go over to the last frame. And then I'm going to move my ghost forward. And it's going to pass through to here and these frames from 250, from one, from frame one to 250 over here. Now I'm going to keyframe that, I key, a lot rot scale. So, all right, so I only have two keyframes. So I have the, the keyframe at frame one, where my ghost is over here. Let me go over to frame one. I thought I made this wider. There we go. I hit the play button, and it's going to catch up to um, where I was at frame 250. And then, why didn't it move? Let me try it again. Pause. Last frame. Cool. So it was moving. It's going really slow. There it is moving. The sheet's not going along with it because I haven't baked it yet. So I'm going to bake it. All right. So pause key. Back to frame one. And select your sheet. And then look for cache. There it is. So I told the simulation to start at minus 100. And I just click on bake. And then you're going to wait for what feels like an infinity. Uh, just wait for it. It's going to process this. So from 100 up until frame 1, it'll have its time to uh, uh, come down and fall on our UV spheres there. And then at frame 1, it'll start moving forward along the y-axis to meet up uh, where the uh, plane is at frame 250. So we'll just wait for this to, to bake. While oh, it's baking, it's actually uh, processing this. And the same in our cache, that way it doesn't have to work hard again and try to render all this information. See, so now we're here. It's actually started at minus 100, so we have to wait for it to get to 250. All right, so uh, 
We're done baking, so let's check out the oven. Play button. Cool. We're coasting right here. Get it, ghost. Ooh, a ghost. All right, so I'm going to choose the camera view because right now I've had zero on the number pack for camera view. I get this wide view right here. Uh, but just a heads up, once you bake, the simulation right here for the cloth, that's it. You're done. Uh, if you want to change the, the way it moves, all that stuff, you have to delete the bake and then redo the, the keyframing, redo the animation. You can try that again. But what you can do is change the color of the cloth. Uh, you can change everything around there, like the environment. So I'm going to go right here to World, World of Properties, the color. I'm going to make the background black. That gray color is that gray color there. Look in here. That's a color bar. Make it black. There we go. And choose a view, something like here, so you can, I can get the mouth. Let me zoom out. Make this my camera view. Control, alternate, then zero on the number pattern. Oops, there we go. So hold on the control key and the alternate key at the same time as you hit the zero key on the number pattern. All right, so I'm at frame one. I want the, the ghost to start over here on the left. Chief for grab, move it over. Then we uh, go over to the last frame, which is this button right here. And cool, it's there. I guess I can move back in some more right there. Frame one, I'm gonna hit G and then Z and then Z again so I can zoom in. So it's G, Z, Z, Z. Go in a bit. There we go. So at frame one, I'm there. And the last frame, let me get the whole ghost. G for grab. Let's try that. All right, back over to the first frame. Go on, I got the ghost there. So play button. There we go. I got the hovering ghost. Ooh, scary. Cool, I like that. Looking real smooth, real fly. Over here, go over to the render tab. Make sure you got Bloom activated so you can get the glow. Without Bloom, it's not really going to glow. Looks flat, so activate Bloom. Because we have the emission shader for the white color there. Screen switch reflections, the motion blur. Ambient occlusion, not really necessary, but I like to use it. So I'm going to go to the output tab right here. I'm going to make this an AVI JPEG video. AVI JPEG. It'll render faster than the other ones. And click here on the folder. Choose the location to save this to export it to desktop and give it a name. Ghost gliding. Gliding. There we go. Desktop. Accept. And I already baked it. Make sure to bake it. Baking is important. If I don't bake it, it's not going to render the full animation with the simulation there. Uh, remember that when I want to bake, I change the start of the simulation at minus 100. And click on the cloth. Physics minus 100, so the sheet. Is, so we, we don't see that in the animation. We're 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 gonna render from frame one to 250, and so from 100 to one, we already gave it its time to for the cloth to fall down on the spheres. So here at one, the cloth is already on the sphere, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna hit Control F12 to render. If uh, for some reason your F12 key doesn't work, up here to render, and select render animation, wait it out. And once it's done rendering, you have yourself your nice, cool, chill animation. And I already got one made already. Let me check that one out. For my other project, Ghost Gliding. Oh, that's the new one there. And the old one is right here. Test Cloth Ghost. And that's the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. There we go. Different view. This one without the mouth. So I'm going to wait for the new one to render, and I'll show you the one with the mouth. Let's go over there. Bam. Rendering, rendering, rendering. All right, so my render here is complete. So let's check that out. Just ignore that there. Cruise summer. All right, here we go. Ghost gliding. Gliding, sliding, side to side. There we go. Just sliding right there. Ooh, ghost. So there it is. Simple as that. Get yourself a nice, spooky ghost. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome night. Have an awesome evening. Have an awesome day. Uh, happy Halloween. Happy October. Happy fall. Happy November. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, share, hit the notification bell. Anything helps. Anything helps. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about Ghost. All right. Take care.